Today on Drawbly, we are trading artworks. Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And we are self-taught artists documenting our journey of learning to draw, which is of course better with friends. So click that subscribe button if you're new around here and share your artwork on Instagram with hashtag Drawbly. And check out our guidebook, How to Easily Draw Every Day at the link below in the description. Abby, it is time. Oh my gosh, time for what, Ben? Well, it's time to trade some artworks. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Abby did the sketch this time around and I'm painting her sketch. Uh, if you didn't check out our last uh, version of this, I did a sketch for Abby that she painted. So I'm excited to see her sketching process and then uh, show her my painting process. Yes, I was very ambitious. You, I, okay, so when you handed this to me, I was like, Dang, these are some cool, cool looking hands. And you were like, yeah, that was like half the time. Uh, pretty much uh, most of my time was on the hands. <laughs> and I still honestly, like looking back at them after they're done, not obviously in this moment, I still think I should have worked on them longer, made them bigger. Like there are so many problems with this drawing um, that I spent so long trying to fix. And then ultimately looking back at it afterwards, I mean like I didn't really fix these things. Um, so... That's where I come in. I'm here to fix some things. Oh, good. <laughs> so, you did an under sketch. Tell me, was that the, just like a normal... What, what pencil do you use? I just used the 6B, I think is okay, what it's so called. So just one of the normal pencils. And then what are you using here to draw on top of your sketch and refine it? The 6B as well. Oh, really? It looks like a different brush. Maybe it's just the way you're using it. It might be the way I'm using it. Plus I erase out a little bit on lines to try to get a different like look and, or line weight. Mm. So that can make an adjustment to the way it looks as well. Okay, okay. And I really like your uh, texture that you have here for the background. Mm -hmm. I'll, I will say, uh, uh, well, I recently found a set of 20 free, uh, what would you call it, paper textures that you can use for, you know, literally any, they're just, they're just JPEGs. Mm -hmm. So I found those and I'm going to play around with them more because I thought they were fun. But when I saw you doing this, I was like, where'd you get those? And I couldn't download any to my iPad. So I just like kind of made my own <laughs> in, in one. I was like, this works. It's not very good, but these will be, uh, I think, really fun to play around with and experiment with. Yeah, no, I, I enjoy having them. I think that they add so much interest to a piece just right from the get-go. And I think being able to envision interest from the beginning is really helpful. These hands were really hard. Tell, I, me, tell me about these hands. It was really hard to not make them look kind of like decrepit and old. And then it was also really hard to make them the right size, which I did not do. It was hard to make them proportionally correct. Um, there well, was... I, I didn't fix any proportions on your drawing. I might have done like the most minor of pushing and pulling in a couple areas, but mm -hmm. that's about it. Yeah, no, and, and it's okay. Like they do stand alone, but that they, um, they're too small. So you did have a reference for me, so I could actually kind of play around with colors and the, the lighting, which made it probably a little easier for me. But the hardest part for me was most definitely the bangs. Her bangs are, it, well, first of all, this image is really blown out. It's really just like That's one where I had, flat. I had increased the brightness a lot to see the definition in her hair. There's a layer under that reference that yeah, has it. I, I'm aware. I'm okay. aware. But the image is in, it, in and of itself without that very, um, like, it doesn't have a wide range of contrast. And because of that, mm -hmm. it was really hard for me to tell what the heck was going on with the bangs. Like, I... I think they're just really, really thin, and that mm -hmm. that's they're her forehead. Yeah, that's her forehead sh showing through. It was just hard to read some of the different aspects of the image because of that. I should have just taken out the reference and said, "Here, paint this oh, without a reference." Oh, you should have. Because I really liked painting your sketch without any reference at all. Um, it's it's very freeing, and maybe we should have done that. Mm, wow. We have something for next time. Right, right. We always, well, and that's great because we always, we're going to learn something new every time with these, so. Yeah, I really like um, your sketching process in general. Like everything, it, it, it's very recognizable as your style, which is oh, a good thing yeah. to have in my opinion. It's getting there. I mean, I wouldn't always say that definitely about my historical works. Um, and yours too, actually. I've, I've definitely started to notice more and more like a distinct style coming through, like a, in a preference for how you create things. 
well, here I am getting in and actually painting so Ooh. you can now see my process. I do a little work on the, the background here at first and uh, try to figure out those layers, uh, mm -hmm. the, the layer setting. I think I, it went by so quick. I think it's overlay. Uh, it goes by a little fast here, but mm -hmm. it looked like a letter O, so I'm gonna say it's overlay, probably. I also uh, colorize your sketch a little here and there. Mm -hmm. And we'll also get to see a side-by-side -side between your sketch and the finished painting at the end. Cool. So this, I'm not gonna lie, this was really, really, really difficult. Mm -hmm. Because the way you sketch is so different from mine that it, it was just so hard, it was so different. Hmm. So I really had to try to channel my inner Abby, but also stay true to my own process of, you know, how I work and how I do things. Yeah, yeah. So that was the biggest challenge for me, is just trying to merge our two processes together. Mm -hmm. And I'm currently doing mostly all underpainting. Mm -hmm. So I paint underneath your sketch, but I do a tiny bit of overpainting as well, but I maintain the sketch to the best of my ability. Mm -hmm. Well, it's looking good so far. I mean, the color is there. Um, there's some gradients there on our hands, I see, like a little bit more deep saturation on our hands. That's probably a, a good call. Very interesting. Yeah, and I, like I said, I, so I try to channel my inner Abby here. Tell me about that. Well, I, I, so I tried to kind of like match, I mean, you'll see it as it comes up, but like different areas, especially around the hands. So obviously like I'm blocking out the colors first. Um, that is definitely something that I do. Mm -hmm. And then I, I kind of just get in there and get a little messy with it. But I don't use any texture brushes. I have a rule right now where I'm not allowed. I'm forbidden from yeah. using texture brushes. <laughs> I'm on a kick with the gouache brush right now. Since I saw it in one random YouTube tutorial. I'm like, oh yes, gouache all the way, please. What YouTube tutorial? Uh, the one I did that looked at eyes, oh. um, art with Luris, L-O-U-R-I-S. Oh yes, I do remember that. She had a little eye tutorial and she liked to use the gouache brush. Um, yeah, that. I really liked the eyes that you created in that one. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun, that was fun. Now, did you apply, so for that tutorial, that was mainly just a painting tutorial, not drawing? I feel like the, I did have a big drawing takeaway from that tutorial with, uh, in regards to using a red sketch ah. and affirming using a pencil like a, just a pencil brush and procreate for the sketch as well oh were you using something different before i feel like i just always bounced around in what i was using um oh but... i pretty much always use the the pencil brush not for any reason other than the fact that it has a little bit of texture to it and i feel like the texture on the pencil kind of keeps things a little more organic uh, looking mm -hmm. and I appreciate that look for a sketch where I'm intentionally not trying to make things look super clean mm -hmm. and the brush kind of helps keep things from trying to head in that direction mm -hmm. because during the sketch I feel like it's really easy to get caught up trying to make things perfect and that kind of defeats the purpose of a sketch mm -hmm. whereas you know you could say line art is maybe the attempt of turning a sketch into something much more clean and mm -hmm. perfect but yeah i don't really do line art no i don't really either um i prefer a sketch in all honesty in general like when i see good line art i can definitely appreciate it for the work that goes into it but i'm always just you know deeply appreciative of a good sketch as well Who's your, who's, who are you deeply appreciative of? Uh, who, who are we talking about? Well, I know Loish does a lot with letting her sketches shine through anymore. She has said recently that she doesn't do a lot with like refined line art anymore. Mm. It, she mostly just uses her initial sketch to provide that. And I think that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. 
Mm -hmm. Who's um who's the other artist that you really like that mainly works traditionally and does a lot of people in profile? Kellogg Sloop. Kellogg Sloop. He also has like a very similar aesthetic. Yeah, and his edge quality is very sharp considering he works typically in a traditional medium. Uh, he has incredible edge control on his work. So he make you mean like the shapes he creates are really sharp, kind of like my shapes here or Uh yeah, yeah. I mean like the he does choose to blend in many places, but... Does a lot of hard edges. Yeah, he does very, very clean edges mm. that um, are expertly done. Clean edges or hard edges? Mm, I don't have his work in front of me, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. Gotcha. Yeah, I am a, a big fan of hard edges just for the fact that my brain under, understands hard yeah. edge. <laughs> and uh, soft stuff. Can, uh, can be confusing. Mm. And that is just something that is going to kind of be built into my style, I feel like, automatically, because it's kind of a weakness in, in what I create. Hmm, a weakness in what you create. The hard edges? I'm sorry, I'm confused by that. Um, I'm not very good at doing soft edges. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah. Um, I don't know that I am either. Oh yeah, that's like all you do. You're you're the you're the soft one, remember? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm the hard artist. You're the soft artist. <laughs> so angular. Yeah, I think it's it's really interesting to see how that shines through in this piece here. Um, like I'm looking, there's maybe like a couple areas where I'm like, oh, I wouldn't have thought to do that that way, but I really like that. Um, and other areas where I'm like. I don't know if that's how it would have turned out if I'd done it, but I actually really like that as well. I did one, so I set it to multiply. That is what I did here for your painting. And I did some slight color correction. The mm -hmm. multiply is so that the texture comes through there on the end, which I really like. I, I'm, I'm loving it. Yeah, ba -ba 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 -ba. great job. And there is your sketch and the painting side by side. Wow, you put some work into this. This looks awesome. I really liked your sketch. It was super fun to work on. Good. I especially enjoyed working on the hands. The hands were super cool. Oh, cool. I'm glad you and did. And the cake. <laughs> and the cake. I thought the cake could be cute. I was it like, was. the cake is fun. That might be a fun piece to work it on. It was super fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> overall, the sketch was amazing and i really enjoyed painting thank you thank you well hey if you want to be amazing uh click that like and subscribe button and, and check out our guidebook how to easily draw every day at the link below in the description share your work on instagram with hashtag draw because, because drawing is better with friends <laughs> and this is the part where we say goodbye goomba did you like how i stole your line um, no, it was very, very rude of you. I think you were uncertain. You were like, oh, oh no. Do you like how I stole your drawing? Oh, yes, I do like how you stole <laughs> Actually, it. Actually, yes, yes. I <laughs> you did a really good job. <laughs>